What happens when you mix Fist of the North Star with Dynasty Warriors and some really slick anime cutscenes? You get a whole breakfast buffet of awesome. That's what. All you can eat pancakes, bacon, sausage, and endless coffee in video game form. It's Fist of the North Star. Ken's Rage. And I'm, I'm hungry. Hungry for some ass kicking. You are already dead. Now I should note that uh, the, the least realistic part of this game is that it takes place in a post-apocalyptic world after a nuclear war, yet all of the characters are surprisingly well-fed, good-looking, retain their teeth, and also still have hair. Other than that, it's completely believable. That the only things left after a nuclear war would be cockroaches and gyms and hair salons. This game is not just for fans of the comic book and anime. Fist of the North Star has been around since 1983. It's a very popular Japanese manga and has made its way into numerous anime films and video games. But you don't need to know it to dig this game. And even though I like 80s comics, it's actually not one I'm too familiar with. But I was happy when I saw this title. Because it's definitely a storyline that works well for video games. Think Mad Max meets He-Man. This is published by the same people that published the Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors series. Koei, if I pronounce that name right. And it's remarkably similar both in the gameplay style and layout of the game. Which is fine with me because I love the Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors games. Hack and slash fun. That's pretty much what you get here except it's a bit more stop and start at first. The character moves don't feel quite as smooth and the background is a bit drab being that it's a post-apocalyptic wasteland and all. But the storytelling is better, it's easier to follow and far more enjoyable. Enhanced with some very well done anime style cutscenes. doing this. <gasps> Ken. Great cutscenes. Uh, really, so much better than some of the other big budget games I've played lately. Stylish, well done, they tell the story nicely. Excellent work. If you've played Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors or any other hack and slash game like this, there's no learning curve whatsoever. Just jump in, mash buttons, and play. There's attack combinations, you can grab people and throw them, the characters each have their own special move, which eventually gets powered up the more people you beat up, and your basic hack and slash beat em up stuff, which is good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You also have these wild finishing moves, and as you play the game you earn experience points, so you're rewarded for beating up and slaughtering as many of these mindless, mutated mungheads as possible. And you then apply the experience points to upgrade each of your characters. What's not to like about this? Come on. Good stuff. I have to also compliment the easy to navigate menus and the 80s power guitar in the background. I'll teach you to fear my Nanto Sweet Choken! And even though your characters certainly appear to kick a lot of ass in this game, it's not easy. It's not just a pushover. You'll frequently find yourself surprisingly outgunned all of the sudden, and then there's some end bosses which are quite tricky. If you lose an end boss fight, I lost this one here the first time I played it, it does allow you to then replay the end boss without having to slaughter your way through 30 or 40 minutes of that level. So after the first try, figuring out this guy's attack patterns, I came back the second time, beat him, and then moved on. Each of the characters does their own special thing. Kenshiro can pick up giant girders and missiles and throw them at people or swing them. Mamiya can, um, well, well, she's got a charming personality. Fist of the North Star Ken's Rage is a gigantic game. The levels are enormous, you can replay them to strengthen your characters, there's numerous characters to choose from, lots of button combinations and moves to learn, and a very cool storyline on top of all of that. You can also play two-player co-op in the dream mode. Dreamy. 
Hey, did I just regain life with radioactive bread? Awesome. It's almost as good as trash can apples and turkeys, but not quite. Fist of the North Star. Ken's Rage!